ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We gotta talk about this situation with Chica. I was very, very disappointed. And y'all know I have tried to defend Chica in the past. Um, you know, because she gets depressed and you know she's tried to off herself a few times but there there was no defending her with this situation i wasn't feeling it at all um let me share my screen so over the weekend chica went off um about some babies in first class so let me share my screen here So let me read to y'all what she said. She says, the lady next to me who thought it would be a good idea to buy yourself and your twin infants first class seats on a red eye flight who just woke me up by bringing your screaming bastards to our seats to soothe her. I just bought a 34, I just bought $34 Wi-Fi at 4 a.m. to call you a stupid bitch. Then she says, P.S. I hate you and I hope you get a paper cut between each finger tomorrow, you senseless wench. Like you are, like, are you literally mentally delayed? What makes you think a one-year-old will shut their bitch ass up on a seven-hour flight that takes off at one a fuck one a fucking a.m.? You already had them up past their bedtime. I don't care the circumstances. Take your ass to economy at least. I'm so pissed off right now. I already had trouble falling asleep. And as soon as I do, you bring your consequences of your sexual promiscuity into my life. I got noise cancellation and I still woke up. Fuck you, ho, choke. This is why I understand that man in the so, in the so is the baby video, cause fuck your kids. And she was shaking the damn baby, y'all, and gripping her arm tight to try and shut her up. But that's none of my business. I'm not CPS. So then we find out it's uh, Tiny's granddaughter. So Tiny comes on and she says, yeah, she's talking about my mother effing grandbaby, talking like she wasn't supposed to be in first class or something, the F. So Chica says, was this necessary? Fuck your bum ass page. Then people were chastising her, saying Chica writes the meanest thing you could think of, targeted at the most defenseless group of people, us. Hey, that wasn't cool, Chica. I'm sick and tired of being targeted. I'll cast it for my opinion. Yeah, it, it's just, it's insane. Um, Child Zonique's cousin said Chica was nice in person and ain't say nothing to her about the crying. That's exactly what people like her do. Won't address nothing in person like an adult, but will be nasty on socials. Keep the same energy. So now this is what Zonique wrote. Let me go back to Zonique. So these are the babies. That's Zonique's baby, and that was uh, Zonique's baby's cousin. And she says, wait, I'm in tears, not Chica boo was mad at my child cutting up in first class. You should have just sat there and been mad, babe. She's sky pri priority as fuck. I think Zonique handled that pretty well. I don't think I'd have been as nice. And so when people started chastising Chica, of course she had to play victim. I don't give a fuck if you used the words I did or didn't. Nigga. <laughs> I get it, y'all are pissed, be pissed, that's fine. I'm not calling anyone crazy for being pissed. I know I was real harsh, but sorry. I can't give a fuck, but I know y'all want me out, this bitch. And so I'm looking for my room. So I'll be out when it's necessary, don't worry. But at this time, like, I just wanted to say, before I head out, y'all niggas, 
the double standards are fucking crazy. It's insanity. Y'all get to say anything to me. I fucking get on Twitter and talk about a random ass baby. And yeah, was I mean? Mm hmm. Real mean. <laughs> because guess what? A bitch had not slept for two days. And also, I had a fucking uh, <laughs> therapy session with my therapist telling that nigga I've had really bad thoughts today. And I had to pack my bags and be on the way to be in my fucking city to do this goddamn show. And I'm gonna kill the show tomorrow. And I'm excited about that. And I know everyone's gonna be like, shut the fuck up, you big bitch. I don't, <laughs> that's y'all's MO. But like, for me, I'm sitting here and I understand how nonsensical it is. And I know this is not gonna do me any favors and I'm not trying to do it myself any favors. You bitches are already unhinged. So, child, let me come back on the screen. Now, this is my issue with Chica because, like I said, you know, I've tried to defend her sometimes in the past because, you know, she she might get bullied. People say little slick things to her, but she she has a very, very nasty demeanor. And I get tired of people anytime somebody's held accountable. Shout out to the 10,000 people in here. Make sure y'all hit that like button, please. Um, anytime she's held accountable, the first thing she does is, you know, deflect, 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 deflect. Then she tries to, you know, play victim. And, you know, the S word is, uh, oh, don't worry about it. Cause I, I'm going to hurt myself soon and I'll be out of here soon. Like it's the same song and dance. She does something. She refuses to take accountability. Then, you know, she, she tries to shame everybody by bringing up the S word. You know, I'm going to eventually, you know, just, just harm myself. And it's like, no, I, I'm, I'm tired of it. No, first of all, her post was elitist as fuck. For someone who's always talking about elitism and colorism and, you know, all the isms, she was very elitist in that post. The fact that, so the kids who are crying, they should be in economy. So fuck the people in economy who also paid for a ticket. You know, they're peasants, so they should deal with crying babies. But us up here who paid, you know, eight to a thousand dollars for our tickets, we shouldn't have to deal with that here. You know, I just, I thought that was like just really disgusting. And the fact that she would talk to kids this way, you know, and there was a whole discussion. I remember we posted a video maybe like a month or so about the man who got up on the plane and was like, did that baby pay, I buy a fucking ticket? He was like cussing out the baby and he was going off and supposedly the baby had cried the whole flight. And so that caused a lot of debate, a lot of discussion and I'm assuming the baby must have cried the whole flight because for him to snap in the way he did and risk getting jailed by TSA was insane. But the fact that it's one thing is to like vent frustration, right? Because we all have a right to be frustrated and upset. But she could have just as easily took to social media and was like, you know, oh, I really dislike when kids are flying on planes and they don't know how to behave or they're crying. You know, it, it bothers me. You know, just something like that. I think people would have took that better than to call these kids bastards, tell them to shut their bitch ass up. She called them, she called the mom promiscuous and said that the kids were a result of her promiscuous lifestyle. What? Like, I, it was just so gutter and lowbrow. All this because, and then from what uh, Zonique's cousin who came out and cussed her out, oh, the cousin went in, said she was musty and everything. <laughs> Said she was musty, but said that her daughter only cried for three minutes because she woke up out of her sleep and she was scared, you know, because she was sleeping. And when she woke up, she's on a plane. It's dark. And she was able to comfort her and put her back to sleep. So the fact that she didn't say any of this to the woman, you know, she took it to social media. And what also bothers me, what also shows her elitist attitude, she thought these were regular degular children. She thought they might have just been, you know, just the average black woman's child. So she felt it was okay for her to call them bastards and bitches and all this stuff because she deemed them to be regular people's kids. But once she found out these were celebrity children, oh, don't worry about it. I'm gonna just end up killing myself anyways and I'll be out of here soon. And no, no, don't commit suicide. Well, don't commit the S word now, bitch. Keep the same energy when you thought it was a, a you know, an average person's child. Like, I don't like that. 
She never apologized, but you could see she was trying to slightly walk it back without walking it back only because it was a celebrity's child. So again, people get a little bit of money and fame and their true colors come out. That's all I saw. So now I don't, I feel no ways. Everybody's like, oh, we'll give her grace, mental illness. I've given this girl grace. I have defended her many a times. But no, this was not grace. This was very elitist. It was nasty. Those babies did not deserve it. I don't care if these were regular people's kids or Zanique's family, T.I.'s family's kids. And I'm surprised T.I.'s loud mouth ass ain't had nothing to say. Because, you know, he'll run to defend Regine and, you know what I mean? Lil Wayne won't say nothing. Here come T.I. I was waiting for T.I. to write a whole book defending his grandbaby. But, you know, T.I. probably felt like, you know what, he didn't want to get involved, which I can get, you know, because then they'd have been like, oh, it's a black man going after a black woman. So I get it. But I'm glad Tiny spoke up. It just, it wasn't that serious. And then you're saying, you know, you wish that she gets a paper cut in between all her fingers. I, I don't know. I just don't like sadistic shit like that. You know, it's one thing to vent, right? We we all had the right to vent and be upset. But, you know, you're you're like, it was just, it was very sadistic and dark. It was not that serious. It just was not that serious. <laughs> Grandpa tip. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was too much, you know, like, again, and, you, and, and I don't know, like, I, I've flown with my kids when they were younger. I remember my, my oldest son's first plane ride. He was about three, two or, I think like two or three, we moved to North Carolina. He was quiet. It was during the day, you know, he just, he sat there, he was excited. He was looking out the window, you know, but every kid is different, right? I've been on planes where I've heard a baby cry near the front of the plane and he cried for a little bit, but I'm not going to get on social media and be like, this damn bastard in seat CA-14, shut your child. Like, it's not that serious. Kids are going to cry. Yeah, it may suck if they're right next to you. You know, I'm the type, give me the baby. I'm going to put the baby to sleep. You go ahead and rock your baby. You know what I mean? I'm going to help the parent out. That's just how I am. I'm going to be a mom. You want me to hold your child? You know, so like... Because I can already imagine the parents are embarrassed. You know, they want the kid to shut up just as much as you do. But I mean, what are they going to do? Like, you know, put tape on the child's mouth? No, they're not going to do that. So I just think that that was just too far. That was just a bit too far for me. I didn't like it. And I just don't like the whole whenever she's held accountable, you know, here she comes, you know, threatening the S word and it's her mental health. And I'm seeing a therapist. Well, your therapy's not working because you seem really angry all the time. All the time she's angry about something. I, I, she needs to go and find another therapist or something because it's not cool. And then, oh, but oh, but Zanik baby daddy, what's his name? Uh, Buddha Hunter, Bounty Hunter, I don't know, Hunter something. Um, he wanted to know where she lived. And of course, oh, <laughs> of course, the bars were right under his comment. She lives in LA. Here's the address. <laughs> I said them damn bars, they stay in some mess. Oh, they they, they sent that man the address quick. <laughs> <laughs> they had me dying on Twitter. He was like, where does this chicken girl live? Oh, they came with the address. Because you know they doxed her a few months ago. <laughs> they had her shit ready. Here you go. I don't know what's his. I forgot what his name is, but it was funny. He found out. I don't think he gonna pull up or nothing. But oh yeah, they was ready. And them bars was ready with the ad. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.